Hello and welcome back to the ABP Building Help channel. And this is your channel for getting all the building tips and info that might be helpful and useful to you uh, on your domestic or commercial project, depending on whatever it is you are having carried out or whatever work that needs to be done. So today, the topic is structural cracks. We're just going to talk a little bit about why cracks might happen in your building. So what are structural cracks? Well, in a nutshell, structural cracks in a building are there because they're caused by some sort of defect in the structure, um, whatever that might be. And there's a couple of different reasons. Uh, one of them we'll talk about to start off with is general building failure now these are sort of the natural things that can happen in a building um one of them being foundation failure um if you've got a building and the foundations have failed or you might have um some shrinkage in the ground beneath the foundation that could cause foundation failure and that would cause cracks in a structure um, lintel failure Old buildings sometimes have old timber beams in, which could have rotted during a course of time. That would cause cracking in the building. Um, also, if you had an angle iron, uh, which was acting as a lintel as well, if that angle iron's been exposed to the elements and corroded, then that could expand and that could also cause cracking in the building as well. Um, if it was a cavity, wall structure then it's quite possible that wall ties might have failed and wall ties are essentially there to tie two leaves of brickwork together if the wall ties fail then that could cause some cracks to the building as well which would need the necessary remedial works um you could have lateral movement so if you've got a gable end wall for argument's sake or maybe the front elevation of a house and that wall's pulling away from the rest of the structure um, then that could cause some cracks and you'd normally see those sort of cracks right in the corners of the walls just where the walls pulling away so that would need uh, that could cause cracks to a building and uh, one of the other things as well where you could see cracks in a building is is on an actual floor um, so if we think of a concrete floor you can get what's known as floor heave and this is where if there was damp or moisture in the floor, then you might have um, sulfates which uh, attack the floor and start to push push the floor up. Um, so that would that would you'd notice or see a lot of cracking in the floor because of that. Um, so they're the sort of um, sort of general building failure cracks, things that can happen to a build uh, to a building over its natural natural cause. Um, but then we've got what's known or what I like to think of cracks from actual human error. Now, these are the things which are so easily avoided, but depending on which contract is carrying out the work or how a job has been carried out, then this can cause, this can cause cracks, which could easily be avoided. And these could be simple things. Uh, so if we look at the picture here where we see a structural alteration if a beam's not been um, packed up properly after it's been put in and gaps have been left in the brickwork, then this could cause some settlements in the structure, which would cause cracks as well. Um, one of the other common things is from window replacement. So if a window's been replaced and it's not been, the brickwork above's not been propped if it was necessary. So if it was an old, let's say timber, uh, window which in older properties quite commonly also served as a lintel um, to support brickwork above if that was just pulled out and it wasn't supported properly then you could get a lot of crack and cracks in the structure as well and that's not to say that all um, um, you know window fitters would would take that sort of approach uh, because most are pretty savvy and will understand um, you know, what needs to be done before a window's taken out, certainly if it's to 
um, provide support for a structure, but it could be your average, somebody who doesn't understand a lot of it about structures and might just pull the window out. Um, that's one of the things that can happen. Uh, and it's, it would certainly cause structural cracks to a building. Um, so the solution really, um, if you do have some general cracks in the brickwork, um, would be to use what's known as a, a crack tie. Uh, and what a crack tie is is a, a piece of stainless steel, uh, and that would be that would be that would go into the mortar joint, which would be raked out to a suitable depth. Um, and epoxy resin would be used as well. And all that would do is effectively provide um, additional strength to the brickwork and knit everything together. Um, then afterwards, some remedial pointing would be carried out or some rendering as well, if depended on what, what was covering the building structure. Um, so that's the, the, the idea of the, the repair um, for when structural cracks have occurred but not all structural cracks um are because of an actual um um defect in the brickwork itself um you can get cosmetic cracks as well and these might be cosmetic cracks could be just the simple things really um which could be caused by general thermal building movement just when a building will just naturally move over the course of time so it's it's not always something that's you know um really really serious in terms of carrying out uh, repairs to the actual structure and cosmetic cracks could be caused from um plastering uh, you know the incorrect plastering that's been carried out so somebody's um put new plasterboards on and not scrimmed the joints uh, that could cause cracks as well um, in walls um, it could be something simple where cracks have happened on the ceiling because somebody's been up in a loft space uh, not used the proper walk boards and been bouncing around all over the ceilings that would cause cracks as well so the solution for the um, for the cosmetic cracks really it's um, it's as, as simple as um, maybe opening up a crack um, raking it out and using um, possibly a flexible um, filler, uh, depending on the severity of the crack. Um, it could also be a case of chopping chopping or cutting back sections of the plaster in the wall um, and then using the correct remedial um, replastering methods afterwards. Um, that might be putting some mesh um, in with the plaster repair as well. Um, so there's various different methods um, to be able to repair the cosmetic cracks um, for whatever's required for your particular for your particular property. So that's it. I, that was your tip for today on structural cracks. Um, our company carries out all structural work. Um, the, every different aspect of structural work and all different methods of fixing structural cracks. So if we can help, please visit our website or um, comment or send us a message and we'll do everything we can to help you on your project. So I hope this video has been helpful today and thank you very much once again for contacting ABP Building Help Videos. Thank you very much and we shall speak to you on the next video.